are such an asshole. Assholeconsulting.com, all kids do it. All right, here we are. Hello, Aaron. I must first tell you that I enjoyed reading your books, Bachelor Pad Economics, The Curse of the High IQ, and Reconnaissance Man. I also quite like your videos on YouTube. I would like your help to decide where my fiancé uh, and I should live. Here's some background information. I live in the countryside of the socialist province of Quebec. I'm hoping to graduate with an electrical engineering degree this December. I'm a libertarian with conservative values, and I don't like where Canada and my province is heading towards. Well, wasn't Quebec always in the shitter? I mean, it's not like Quebec was ever... I mean, you guys like are California, right? It, um... So I'm thinking of moving to the United States. As a part-time job, I'd like to do multiple real estate investments uh, with good cash flow. So a place with low taxes, a favorable landlord laws would be great. I also want to have a big family with five children. Oh, is that all? My fiance is an American citizen that was born in Vietnam. She's currently living in a city near Seattle. She's also right wing. She's not sure if she wants to go to college, but I'd prefer that she become a stay-at-home mother instead. Well, with five kids, you're going to have to. Um, there's no doubt about that. However, if she would go to college, she would like to do criminal justice. She should even think of joining the National Guard. No to the criminal justice. That's not a real degree. That is not a real degree. And uh, yes to the National Guard. I would like to know which states and country <coughs> uh, would be best suited for us, taking into account our background. We do have the option to go into Vietnam, but I think a place like Texas or even Alberta would be better since we want to build a family. Yeah, Vietnam, I mean, that's that's kind of maybe cool when you're single or without children. That's crowded as hell. It's a communist country. It's 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 just a communist country. It's not, I mean, I mean, it's capitalist in many of its economics regards. But I was just talking to a guy, and he, he went over there, and he's like, man, this, this is, you could tell you're in a dictatorship, like some of the most innocuous, simple things you can't do. Um... Uh, a view response would be appreciated so my fiance and I can watch it together. If you need more information, I'd be happy to comply. Thanks for the time and answering my question. All right. <clears throat> um, you can read Reconnaissance Man uh, if you want a much, 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 much more detail and you want to throw me a couple more bucks. But in general, I, there's two things that determine it for me in the United States. Weather and no state income taxes. So that relegates you to Nevada specifically Las Vegas. There's not much else place to live in Nevada. There's Elko. <clears throat> Reno's there. It's kind of a ghetto, um, but it's there. There's mining out there, so maybe you can parlay your electrical engineering skills there. There's also a lot of mining down in Las Vegas area, but Nevada. Texas. Uh, Texas is good, but it's not, uh, there's not as many mountains or uh, water unless you're down by Houston by the Gulf of Mexico, which is fine, all right, if you're raising a family, it's not like you have to be mountain hiking, but you still are in the plains states of sorts. I know a lot of people, oh, Texas has mountains, yeah, yeah, yeah. no, um, but what, many large and medium-sized metros in Texas, so that's not a bad, and it's warm, and it gets super hot down there, and muggy hot as well. Vegas is dry heat, um, but it still gets hotter hot is like you know i think it was 112 for a while here i mean it, it's hot it's hot uh the new kid on the block tennessee that has no state income taxes not as hot and muggy but still gets hot still gets muggy but not as much as texas uh knoxville is nice nashville is okay memphis mm -hmm. um but it's that's a nice mountains over on the east side of the state uh a nice booming economy for now. Uh, so that's another one you consider. South Dakota. Everyone picks on me for South Dakota. Drawbacks of South Dakota is it is in the middle of the country and it is not easy to get there. It's expensive to fly there because Rapid City Regional Airport <coughs> and Sioux Falls Regional Airport, um, they don't have the size for large planes to land there. So it's, it's you got to really want to go to South Dakota to be there. No state income taxes as well. You can go to North Dakota, but you can pay a little bit of state income taxes, I believe. And uh, it's cold as shit there. It's even colder than Minnesota. If you're in Fargo, if you want to go to Medora, I'm in Medora. On the west side, you can, but it's there's nothing there. There's Theodore Roosevelt National Park, and that's it. There's nothing there. There, there's nothing there. Um, and Sioux Falls in South Dakota, by the way, is very boring, but it's a great place to raise a family. Oh. Um, Washington State, you do not want to live on the west side of the Cascade Mountains. You just don't. 
There is nothing to live there. There's no reason to be, no reason, no reason. Now, if you were an electrical engineer, you may be tempted to work for Boeing or Amazon or Microsoft or any one of the large employers out there. <clears throat> I would do it only um, if they paid you an egregious amount of money and basically paid for your lodging near the place of work. And I would not buy in that place. I would rent only and I would only be there to build up fuck you money and then get the fuck out. Otherwise, you can work and live in anything east of the Cascade Mountains, including Spokane, uh, Leavenworth, Cleelum, Yakima. That's about it. <clears throat> um, New Hampshire, small, cold, snowy, shitty. Don't want to be there. I would be against you if you want to stay in, ca in Canada. I would be in Alberta, Calgary. Um, but I, I just get out of Canada. Canada, I, I, it's Canada. I mean, I no offense, it's Canada. It's cold. The, the, the one great thing about Canada you guys got going is the Canadian Rockies, which is beautiful. So I could live in British Columbia. I wouldn't live in Vancouver, now leftist place, but Kamloops. Prince George, just, just way the hell out there. It's not there. Um, maybe Calgary, but even then, I mean, it's just, it's cold. It's miserable. I no, no, no. Uh, I would just be avoiding Canada altogether. I mean, but if you have to, beautiful British Columbia, southern British Columbia, and maybe Calgary and Alberta. But even then, I, I, it's not worth it. Uh, Nevada, Texas, Florida. It's another one. Again, hot and muggy during summer, but uh, booming economy, large population. You could probably find a job down there. Uh, not a lot of anything to do unless you're into swimming and fishing uh, and golf uh, and eating at chain restaurants. That's all Florida really is. A um, little crowded now, getting a little crowded. But good, because that's where all the productive people on the East Coast go is down there. So that those would be my main ones. Now, there are other states that are still overall low tax, but they might have income taxes. Idaho, Montana, again, cold. Phoenix, Arizona. Arizona as a state is fine. I really like Phoenix. I really do. I would say Phoenix is a town to consider living in, even though it's super hot during the summer, um, because overall their taxes are, are still very low. Utah is another one of those that fits into that. That's a fun state. That's a fun state. Um, Colorado is another one. I don't know if you necessarily want to live in Denver. That's rapidly becoming the Seattle of the Midwest. Uh, but if you're in Grand Junction, Durango, um, again, this presupposes you can find a job out there. Uh, that, that's another place I would consider. Um, I would avoid with all your might Minnesota, California, and New England. There is no re I would also avoid Ohio, any Pennsylvania, Illinois, any place with a local in or, uh, yeah a local income tax. The, the 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 states and cities that I recommended are, are pretty much the only reason you would you would live here. Um, and that's it. I would I would I would say go to Vietnam though too, see, because you don't have kids. Do it now. Go to Vietnam. Travel around. Uh, get the book reconnaissance, man. If you want to drop a couple, a little bit, it'll, it'll tell you why and tell you. But you need to explore these places before you go there. You certainly do, um, and, and that would include Vietnam, because you may like it. You may, oh my God, this is great. And your fiance be like, oh, I don't know, okay, and maybe she wants to be there. You know, okay. So, so I would think a trip across the Pacific would be worthwhile. Uh, but do it before you have kids, and then. Once you find and settle a place, your job is stable and secure, realize it, then I start spitting out those kids. Spit them out all in one shot, and then your wife can go on after having the kids. You know, the last kid is off to first grade or second grade, whenever um, school starts to take over full time. Then your wife can go major and study something, uh, whatever it is. Uh, but it's not going to be criminal justice. I like her joining the military. That's a good idea. I, I like that. Uh, National Guard part-time, okay, cool. Um, a lot of fringe benefits that come with that. Um, but she is not going to piss away her precious and finite time with a... Get the book worthless 
By, before you read Reconstance Man, get the book Worthless and have her read that. That'd be very important. And I'm not kidding because if she majors in criminal justice or some stupid bullshit like that, it's almost it could torpedo to all the rest of your plans. All right. So neither of you are majoring in in, in touchy feely bullshit studies. Oh, that's it. So I hope I gave you some ideas. I can't tell you which one is better than the other. I personally love Vegas or South Dakota for other reasons. People hate those places. I know one person who loves Tennessee. Another guy loves Florida. It's all up to you guys and your personal taste and preferences. But they're all warmer, a lot warmer. No state income taxes and less communist pieces of shit than you'll finally uh, you'll find in most of the rest of the populated areas of the country. All right. Questions, answers, asshole consulting. We'll see you all later. Toodles.